<laughs> I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth right now. I bought a house. I cannot even believe that I'm making this video right now, but the day has come. I have completed my dream of buying a house here in Hawaii, the place where I grew up, the place I've always dreamed of settling down. Not that I'm like settled, but wow, yeah, I don't even know where to start. I bought a house here on Oahu, if that wasn't clear already. There is so much to catch up on. This has been in the works since September. 2023 so it's been a while now it has been the coolest experience to see it going from being literally nothing just dirt to the foundation to the frame being up to now there being walls and just knowing that that's the house that i'm gonna live in we are at the house right now we've been checking up on it literally every single week just because so much progress gets made with these construction companies so quickly literally a week ago it was just the foundation and now the frame is up, which is crazy. House is currently being built. Clearly, she doesn't have a roof yet. I think that's coming soon. We are about four months out from the house being done. It has been so cool to see the progress of this place. And step by step, we're gonna be able to watch this place become our home. Another long week of work, guys. <laughs> Please. We got the frame up. What did you do? Aww. Progress update on the house. She's got a little roof going on. Mm -hmm. So cute. The walls are starting to go up. They make really quick progress. It's kind of crazy because we've just been coming every weekend and it feels like something big is always getting done. We've also never come at this hour and the view is so pretty. It is. Oh, it's so nice out. <laughs> It's so crazy to me that this is gonna be like a finished home one day. I don't know why it feels like it's gonna be a construction progress or like project forever, but. The AC units are in. Of course you would notice something like that. The ACs are in, woohoo! Here's a look at her. If you wanna stay a little bit more up to date on what's going on with the house, because these videos are a little bit backdated, make sure to keep up with me on Instagram so you can see in real time what's going on. I'm definitely gonna be posting a lot on there now that the news is out. Anyway. Let's talk about the story behind getting this house because it wasn't your typical scenario where you're in a bidding war or it's a lottery. I camped for three days to get this house. I'm on the way to possibly go secure my dream home. I have quite the night slash morning ahead of us. So I packed a little sleepover bag, got some snacks, got my book, got my book light. I'm getting this damn house. Let the games begin. <laughs> <laughs> the game plan here i'm gonna be taking the first watch from like 12 to 3 my mom's gonna come at 3 she's gonna stay for a few hours while i go and nap and then i want to go back meet my mom there do a little switcheroo again this seems so extra but i know it'll be worth it to get the house even though it might not even be coming out but i'm not willing to risk it mm -mm. there's a good chance i'm doing the same thing again tomorrow i hope not <laughs> to make a long story short with this particular development it was a first come first serve basis and so you wouldn't know when the houses would be released it would kind of be based on a hunch so We've all just been tracking when these houses would be released in previous months, kind of looking at patterns. And we had a feeling that one would be coming out this week that I went camping for it. So literally having no idea if it was even gonna come out or not, me along with my family, along with Micah's family, we all took turns taking shifts, camping out at the literal leasing office. It was very emotionally draining to say the least. I'm so tired, I haven't properly slept. Oh my God. We also were the fourth in line to be camping. So I wasn't even sure if we were gonna get the house that I wanted that was gonna be in the next, that we thought was gonna be in the next release. Honestly, I wouldn't have been able to do it without my family's help, my parents, Micah's family. It was just a team effort. This is the most humbling experience of my life. 
and I've never been more anxious because I don't know if I'm gonna get it. There's a few other people in front of me. I finally got to use the bathroom, so. But honestly, I was like, you know what? I will do whatever it takes. I want this house. It was my dream house. I was obsessed with it. I was in love with the lot. I was in love, you guys will see. Basically it's on the edge of like a hill. So there's this beautiful view and there's no neighbors in the back. So it was just like a prime situation. And I was like, I don't know what I need to do. We're gonna get this house. And then after 72 hours of taking shifts, camping in front of this leasing office, the day finally came. You know what? This calls for a <laughs> There? Yeah, Micah, Ava, and I we were in the office waiting for the lady to come back in. <laughs> Thank you to everybody. Woohoo! Oh, she's gonna tear up now. I know. I can't believe our daughter's 23. Very beautiful house on sign and date right there, 1216. Early Hi. Christmas present. I know. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Just something small. Oh God. Three days in the outback later. <laughs> I bought a house. Up, what is happening? <laughs> UK. I bought a house. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> the the one that we were talking about. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I have some news for you. Are you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you buy the house? I bought a house. <gasps> you bought a house. I bought a house. The kitchen? Can I please cook? Uh, are you joking? <laughs> Yay! You know damn well what I'm about to say. <laughs> I bought a house! I did! So now you're all caught up to speed. That actually all happened back in December. And like I said earlier, the house isn't gonna be done until April. So that's when I'll close and that's when we get to move in. I say we because you know, I'm about to do a heinous amount of moving vlogs and take you guys along for literally every single step of the way. I actually came and drove to my ex dream neighborhood. Not the one I'm moving to, one that I, have always loved uh i just can't afford it so this is me saying goodbye to that because we're on to new and different things and better things now is the part of the video where i ask myself questions but pretend that you guys are the ones asking it based on what i think you'd want to know where did you buy a house i will be living on a side of the island that i haven't lived before i lived in central oahu that's where i grew up and right now I live in town, in Honolulu, kind of near Waikiki, but like not. I'm moving to suburbia. Could not be happier about it. It's not too far from the beach. It's definitely not a beachfront home by any means, but I love the location. What was the process like? It was fun until it wasn't. I grew up being someone who, even at the ripe age of like 17, I would always go on Zillow, it's my favorite pastime, just looking at dream homes and saving them and you know, whatever. But once I was seriously looking, it kind of was like, oh my gosh, all of these things to consider because with this apartment, I'm renting it. So I didn't have to think super long-term. I knew I wasn't gonna be here for too many years. I've been here for two years as of right now, but it wasn't like I was making a super big commitment. So it was a little bit more particular when looking at houses and thinking, where do I want to live? Little things like what kind of neighborhood do I want to live in? What do I want to be by? Just so many different factors. Is it your forever home? I honestly have no idea. It's something that I can definitely grow into and I know we're gonna be happy there for years to come, but who knows? Honestly, I'm just so happy right now and I know I'm gonna be here for a while, but you know, when you think real down the future, it's like, hard to know where your life's gonna go. It could be, it also couldn't be. All I know is that it is my dream home. I can't wait, I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to show you. Is it a custom home? So I feel like 
a lot of you might have this question because I'm watching it being built and it like probably looks like I'm a part of the process, but I'm not. It is a master planned community. So there's nothing that I'm able to change even though I'm watching it being built literally like in front of my eyes. It's already, everything's pre-planned from the color of the flooring to the color of the countertops, stuff like that, that's already set in stone. So it's not a custom built house. It just so happens that I bought it before it was even built. So I get to be a part of the process, even though I'm not. <laughs> Will you be changing or renovating anything? Not anytime soon because it isn't a custom built house and it's not like everything was my first pick for certain colors, whatever. There's definitely little things here and there that I think we changed down the road. Nothing right now. I'm so happy with everything. Everything is just, all my energy is gonna be focused towards moving in, making the house a home. And speaking of that, get ready for so many home videos, moving vlog videos. I can't wait to share everything with you guys. My next video will be the house hunting video and you'll get to see more of the houses that I was looking at and also see which house we ended up getting. And other than that, I'm not gonna lie, I have about 60, 65-ish videos already planned for <laughs> the moving vlogs and after. So I hope you're ready for the home content. I never say this, but if you're not already, make sure you subscribe because I do this too, where sometimes I'll be watching people and I, I'm not even subscribed to them. They just always pop up in my home feed. But if you wanna become a part of our community here, it's a great time. Everyone's very lovely. Definitely subscribe, stick around so you know what's going on. You can be a part of this process with me. And also if you feel like it, follow my Instagram because that's a lot more real time to what's actually going on. I'll definitely be updating what the house looks like when we go and visit, so stuff like that. I don't wanna harp on this too long because you all already know how I feel about you, but I'm so grateful for each and every one of you watching and supporting because genuinely without that, I wouldn't be able to do these things, live out my dreams. It's because of you watching that I'm able to do this. So I love you. I can't wait to bring you along this whole journey, just like I have with every other thing in my life. We're gonna be doing it together.